And actually, in, in, in interaction with Rose a couple of years ago, actually maybe last summer, we were talking about how when we need to construct an idea of what Myanmar is, and what would that look like? And if we're implicitly doing it every time we talk about this place, I think the ethical concern for me is to, be, is to think about who we're representing when we use these terms. Which Burma, Burma for whom, uh, how do we ground this in the daily and lived realities of folks who have such different perceptions of where they come from? So I think of you know, the day labor of Myanmar has a different version of Burma than the Kachin, who sees only the terror of military state, to uh, my friends working in the UN, who hadn't seen this, the state in a very long time. Their landlords were like their electricity and their water. They weren't taxed effectively. They didn't really see this scary state that's supposed to be everywhere. Um, so then the question becomes, how do we talk about this place when it's so different? So that's, that's my first kind of thought. I want to juxtapose this with the second, which is that people are constantly constructing versions of the firm They're talking about who is Burmese and who will need to, be, to play a part in the future of this country. Why would they go into issue in this regard with people saying, you are part of this place. You were brought by the British people. And to me, almost the historical, you know, uh, 